These tips will help you when drawing an accurate perspective drawing, as well as sketching a quick sketch from observation and getting the proportions right. Hey there, landscapers! Getting a perspective drawing right might seem hard at first, but with just a very few simple tricks, you can improve your perspective drawings a lot. Okay, so here are our five tips on how to draw perspective. First one is the most basic and simple one, tip number one, the horizon line. Always start a sketch with the horizon line. What is the horizon line? It's a horizontal line running through your view that marks your eye height. That means that everything that is on the horizon line is as tall as you, everything that's below the horizon line is shorter than you, and everything that's above the horizon line is taller than you. Keep that in mind. Tip number two. The heads of all people in an eye height perspective are on the horizon line. No matter how far away the people are standing from you, the heads will always lie on the horizon and the body will extend underneath it. Why? Because the horizon represents the eye height and most grown-ups are roughly as tall as you. To create a feeling of space, we can draw figures of different sizes with their heads on the horizon. If the figure is smaller, it doesn't mean it's shorter, but it's standing further away from us. Of course, there are exceptions. Children are below the horizon line and most basketball players would reach above the horizon line. Tip number three. Use people to determine proportions in a sketch. Let's draw a person standing somewhere in space with his or her head on the horizon, like we just learned. Let's call the person Charlie. Charlie is going to be our basic size unit. Everything and everyone that is standing next to our Charlie is reaching downwards from the horizon the same length Charlie is. That means it's standing the same distance away from us. Because of that, we can use Charlie to determine the height of all the objects in that distance. So, let's say we want to draw a 5 meters high lamp post. If Charlie is roughly 1.7 meter tall, then you would fit 3 times that size unit into 5 meters. Voila! We draw a 5 meter of 3 Charlie tall lamp post correctly in perspective. You can also apply this principle to widths. If you transfer Charlie's height to the ground, you get a width of 1.7 meters. You can use it, for example, to draw a 3.5 meter wide path, which would be roughly two Charlie's wide. Tip number four. All lines that are parallel in space, like the edges of a road or a row of houses, converge at one point on the horizon. That point is called the vanishing point. Keeping this in mind will help you when drawing in perspective. If you're about to draw a building, for example, extend the bottom edge all the way towards the horizon. Where it hits the horizon is the vanishing point. Every other element that is parallel to this line would also hit that vanishing point if you extended it towards the horizon. Like the top of the building, the windows, the road next to it, and so on. We think these tips are very valuable, so it would mean a lot to us if you share these videos with your friends who might also find uh, these tips helpful. Final tip, tip number five. We'll finish with rather good yet simple one to remember. You could probably figure it out by yourselves, but it's one of the most common ones that you do in perspectives. Exactly. All the tree trunks expand above the horizon line. Think about it. Tree crowns are always so high that people can pass underneath. And if the horizon line is one person high, the tree crown should start well above it. You can check out for more explanations in our other videos on perspective, we'll link them below. We have one more thing for you. If you want to carry these practical tips around with you, now there's a possibility to do so. And it's called our new Cardscapes. Since many of you have been asking us for tips in simple image version and we yet have to write a book, we will one day. 
We created Cardscapes with simple tips on drawing, perspective, landscapes and so on. You can put the printed version in your sketchbook when going out drawing or upload a PDF on your phone. You can check them out through the link below. So have fun, keep on drawing and see you next time. Bye. Bye. These are cardscapes and they will make your life easier no. by just having them. Yeah, you don't even need what? to look at them, just have them, just get them and you know it's like a lucky charm or what it's like a lucky charm you basically no. your pants were are flow you better. serious let's flip the table <laughs> <gasps> they're definitely table flipping material